inter organization transfer the name itself is indicating inter so there are there is an importance to inter intra like these are the terms we will be using in the application and you should be you should not have any confusion in those terms terminology because inter and intra inter means between two intra means within that okay so i will tell you the example tata motor is the company which is having two branches if the company allows the transactions within the company within the organization that means you are doing transactions within the organization and between the organizations when you do the business between the organizations that is called inter international what does it mean between nations that's it within nation that's a kind of intra now we have the concept in the inventory the main concept we discussed already the item item is the base for inventory whereas we have the unit of measures every item has to be measured by unit of measure that unit meant for measuring the item i told you unit of measures are having different types what are those we have primary secondary what is primary i told you whatever the on hand quantity you are able to see in the system that system will show you the quantity in primary you can track in both also that is the way you define the item in the item the way you define the item in that way in the similar way you can track the item with the unit of measures but one item can have multiple unit of measures i told you what is the example for that any item that can be measured by grams kilograms quintals and tons all these unit of measures unit of measures are coming under which class weight class similarly if i say time how can you measure the time with seconds minutes hours days years months weeks so these are all coming under time class if i say distance kilometers kilometers then miles these are all distance meters we have area class what is area class what is the area of rectangle length into length multiplied by the breadth length measured by meter breadth <coughs> measured by meter multiplied by both are meters meter multiplied by meter meter square is the area unit of measure for area in case the base unit of measure is meter in case if it is foot then square feet we used to say if you bought a flat or plot or an house then definitely you go for square meters what is the size of the home like you can say what is the septi square feet square foot somebody says square foot or square feet also square yard what is yard yard is length yard yard comes under length unit of measure length class whereas square yard is the area similarly we have another class we have volume what is volume volume like how do you measure the volume somebody says your gas your gas gas means uh, petrol petrol or kerosene or whatever it may be your oil measured by liters or gallons what is that that is the unit of measure for volume volume is what is the volume of cube meter cube means all the sides are equal length breadth height all are equal when it is equal all measured by meters meter multiplied by meter meter multiplied by meter again meter cube so meter cube is the unit of measure for volume so that is meant for volume meter cube centimeter cube or millimeter cube whatever it may be cubic feet or cubic foot 
so whatever it may be that cube may indicates volume square indicates area now it is very simple if you take some item if you go to unit of measures because unit of measures concept is very important if you don't know unit of measure concept then nothing you are nothing so it's very important concentrate because it is very complicated topic and you should know the basics because you are going to use this concept every time every everywhere whether it's a manufacturing procure to pay or order to cash so <clears throat> Now, if I measure the item, let me query the item. F11, give the item code or control F11 without, if you don't know the item code, so that the first item is this. Every item measured by unit of measure, unit of measure is yard. And which is primary, pricing also primary, secondary. Tracking, here you have the option primary and secondary, in what manner. So basically this option has come in the release 12. Basically it was not there in the 11A. In 11A, what are the primary you decide? With that unit of measure, you can track in the store. Whereas in release 12, you can track both in primary and secondary. That is the main difference. And after that, if you take any unit of measure, if it is yard or meter or millimeter, gram, kilo or whatever it may be. So let us take this site. Now, let us go to unit of measure setup i want to show you unit of measure because it's the basic concept you should know unit of measure is having concepts like unit of measure classes and conversions lot specific conversions what is lot specific every item some items together some items can be having one lot some items can be having common lot what is lot set of group of items similar set of items let us take for example a chair which is in red color plastic chair your company is manufacturer of chairs chairs having different colors so there is a machine first of all they should have granules and chemicals color and everything should be added in proportionately and after that that will be passed through die and die based on the die shape we get the chair right whenever you are preparing the chair you are not you are not manufacturing only one chair that is the process as long as that mold plastic mold what is the plastic liquid mold that you prepare from the colors you know mixture of colors granules by heating and adding color as long as that mold is over the machine is running with that running with that run you can produce some hundreds of chairs right so those hundreds of chairs which have been manufactured in one lot will be having same color but again, once it is over, you pulled out all the hundreds of chairs, then again you prepared mold where some color decreased, pale color, like dark red. Earlier it was dark red. Now you added only little quantity of red color. Then what happens? Chair becomes light color. So this lot will be different. Means you should understand what is lot. A lot which will be having a similar characteristics group group together and having one particular lot number I told you another example in automotive industry every car will be having a lot number manufacturing date so the whatever the car which is manufactured during this time to this time if one car is having the problem then the cars which are having the same lot are manufactured on the same date will be having the problem that is how the company recalls the cars toyota has called millions of you know cars so different models different brands so this is how they call and that is the reason they sell the 
one particular lot items in one particular region. It's very easy when our recall happens, then it's very easy. In from this region, we want all the cars to be recalled. Let us test it. If problem really exists, let us solve the problem, then issue the material again. Reissue the material, I mean car. This is how lot helps. But whenever you have lot specific, one lot means some quantity. And that much quantity will be having a one particular unit of measure. Now let us say here, we have unit of measures, classes, conversions. Now first you understand unit of, what is unit of measure? So unit of measure, you can see a square foot, square meter, square, everything, case, cotton box. Case for one box can accommodate 12 items only. One box can accommodate 24 items, means size has been increased, right? So, <clears throat> see here you can see, there is a check box, which is base is nothing but primary unit of measure. When I say base is nothing but primary unit of measure. When I say case, when I say square foot is a base unit of measure, then we have, we have different unit of measures. Okay, now <clears throat> currency can be defined as a unit of measure. That is also class. You can see here, right? Now, pounds from weight, kilo, kilo, kilogram. In our, <coughs> in India, kilogram is the base. Whereas, Europe, here, pounds. They measure the weight by pounds. Similarly, these are all unit of measures. But every unit of measure can have a conversion. What is that conversion? I can measure meters in millimeters also, in centimeters also. How many centimeters equal to one meter? That's where the conversion factor works out. See, 100 centimeters equal to one meter, 1000 meters equal to one kilometer, 1.6 kilometers equal to one mile. One mile becomes one by 1.6 of kilometers, right? What does it mean? Sorry, one kilometer, 1.6 kilometers equal to one mile means one kilometer equal to one by 1.6 miles, right? Similarly, if I say thousand meters equal to one kilometer, then one meter equal to one by thousand kilometer. It's very simple. That one by thousand is called conversion factor. Conversion factor. Similarly, if I say quinta, if you go for a weight class, somebody says kilograms. Okay, let me just a second, let me connect the charger. Every item measured by unit of measure, every unit of measure is having conversions with secondary unit of measures. If I take one unit of measure, yard, let us take yard. One yard equal to how many? If any secondary unit of measure is there, then we have to define conversions. First of all, you have to define all the unit of measures here because we are at unit of measures form. Now, we have all the classes. We have to define all the classes. Okay, area, cla area class, case, count, currency, length, mass, mass means weight again, pounds, rolls, time, volume. See, these are all unit of measure classes. In that class, what are the unit of measures coming under that you can clearly see that? Area, 
square feet whatever wherever the square is there that comes under area so square feet square foot or square meter square similarly if you have roll roll is a unit of measure and you have conversions one roll equal to one roll this is the conversion okay we will go to conversions this is the standard one volume let us go to volume here we have see drum or this is what another one ft3 means cubic foot liter okay we have all this then us gallon us gallon and after that this is called standard right this is called standard one liter how many liters equal to gallon five liters there is a conversion right similarly how many milliliters equal to one liter right so that is how the conversion between that is standard if you say dozen in india and you go to uk or you go to us or germany wherever you wherever you go dozen means 12 only that is called standard so whatever you define here in the standard tab that is universal standards kilometer equal to thousand meters that's it okay so that you have to remember that standard conversion then there are different conversions you can see standard conversion intra class intra class have you seen here intra class and intra class what is intra class what is intra class so these are all classes right within the class when you say within the class that means area there is meter foot and area measure area is nothing but square square meter or square foot area is different class and length is different class okay but there is a relation between area and length because length multiplied by length unit of measure of length is meter meter multiplied by meter meter square is area so there is a relation between these two classes okay in case you are having different unit of measures coming under the same class but there is a conversion between those like if you take weight class how many grams equal to one kilogram thousand grams equal to one kilogram both are gram and kilogram both are coming under weight class this is called intra class means within the, both are coming under same class but we have the conversion between them and there is a conversion factor what is that one by thousand one gram equal to one by thousand kilogram that one by thousand is called conversion factor similarly length meter comes under length unit of measure area meter square square meter comes under area but meter is existing in area class at the same time length class but both are different classes that means there is a relation between area and meter area and length so when the unit of measures coming under different classes but having a relation that is called inter it's not intra class it is intra inter class so it is a very important question based on you know on upon unit of measures unit of measures measured by primary and secondary what is the relation between primary and secondary we are going to have a conversion between primary and secondary primary is nothing but a base unit of measure and secondary unit of measures are derived from the base unit of measure sometimes those unit of measures might be coming under different classes but having a relation the unit of measures coming under the same class but having a relation is called intra class conversions the unit of measures coming under different classes but having the relation is called inter class 
okay i hope you understood don't be confused here anything remember the unit of measure that you know weight class means kg grams kilograms or quintas or tons all are weights only so we have the relation between them how many grams equal to 1 kg 1000 grams <coughs> how many kg is equal to 1 quinta 100 kg equal to 1 quinta how many kg is equal to 1 ton 1000 kg is equal to 1 ton that's it these are all coming under weight class only this is called intra class intra class the unit of measures coming under two different classes length meter is coming under length square meter coming under area that is one class this is another class but the base is meter meter is existing in both so there is a relation between unit of measures which are coming under two different classes that is called inter class okay now now go to conversions when you go to conversions for every if you take meter square meter there is intra class there is inter class what is that it is item specific see standard is this standard is this if you take dozen let us take simple example dozen equal to 12 each is each is means numbers each means number so always it is standard dozen equal to 12 whereas if you go to intra see linear meter is another unit of measure for this item for this item code for this item one linear meter equal to how many yards it's not equal to one yard it is equal to 1.09361329833 yards but yard is coming under length class linear meter also coming under length class that is the reason this conversion is called intra class conversion specific to this item okay now come to here for this item okay the base primary unit of measure is square feet square foot area okay one square foot equal to this many okay yards square yards whereas sorry this is square foot area whereas it is length i told you right meter comes under length square meter comes under area so meter is length meter square is area but the common thing is meter that's where we are having relation between length and area which are two different classes but having a relation with meter that is called inter class see one roll equal to how many yards i told you cloth you go to merchant clothes merchant you want to buy not ready-made shopping cloth you want to take okay then he measures by meters right but he rolls how he is storing there is a stick for that stick he rolls the cloth that is called bundle that is called roll that roll he'll be keeping if you sell that item then he keeps the roll he, he brings the roll and he asks how many meters you want right that means one equal one roll equal to how many meters similarly one roll equal to how many yards meters or yards both are measured both are used for measuring the length only so this is where roll comes under some class whereas yard length class having a relation between these two with a conversion factor this is called inter class okay i hope you understood it's a very important concept don't be confused okay now
we are going to use this unit of measures while selling and while purchasing how you want certain items how many items you want i want 108 items somebody says nine dozens both are correct so the way you want the supplier the way supplier supplies he supplies the items in secondary unit of measures and you track the items in primary unit of measure it's up to you so purchase order you will be preparing in dozens but after receiving the item you will be keeping the items by numbers okay 108 numbers i would say how much quantity is available for this item 108 items are there in the store okay somebody says nine dozens okay both are correct so this is how you are going to use the unit of measure conversions and very important topic now we have inter organization transfer right where inter organization transfer if you take tata motor i have given example tata nano car which has to be transferred from gujarat to hyderabad you are getting the item from gujarat to hyderabad it is manufactured item in gujarat whereas it is purchased item in hyderabad the item is getting transferred from gujarat to hyderabad hyderabad is tata branch gujarat is also tata branch but having two different organizations and we are having a transfer between two these two intra in these two organizations which is called inter organization transfer for doing the inter organization transfer hyderabad requires hyderabad requires tata nano car so they should raise the requisition a request should be raised from hyderabad that requisition is called internal requisition why we call it as internal because hyderabad whereas gujarat both are coming under tata so belongs to same comp tata head of the groups so definitely it is called intercompany sales if it is inter organization transfer item has to be transferred from gujarat to hyderabad so hyderabad has to request so raise the request that is called internal requisition that internal requisition will be sent to gujarat gujarat has to ship the item to hyderabad means somebody wants to ship means you should have a sales order that is how internal sales order will be created within the tata group in favor of gujarat based on that particular sales order gujarat ships the item to hyderabad hyderabad receives the item and maintains the stock in the hyderabad branch and as and when there is an order in hyderabad they book the sales order and sell to the hyderabad customer this is the procedure we follow right so this is where we use it to call inter organization transfer it is very simple if you go for inter organization transfer it will ask you from which org i already selected our organization as booster right when you go for change organization it is the selected you selected right if you select from here to here or here to here these are all inter organization these are all inventory organizations right so when you do the transfer between the organizations that is called inter organization transfer already we are at this particular organization w o o then you are going to transfer to another organization so for inter organization transfer it is not allowing why for that there is a setup that setup you can understand very easily while explaining the setup that is the reason i'm going to set up now when you go for setup this is the navigation where we have shipping networks okay already i added to favorites in the shipping networks we are going to open this when you open you can see for this organization what are the shipping networks available find simply when i say cancel okay you can see from this company to booster if you scroll down from booster to this companies all the companies we are going to 
whereas I enable this checkbox have you observed internal order is required when you select this you cannot do inter organization transfer just I tried out and I failed why because due to this checkbox when you enable this system understands there should be a internal sales order should be created to ship the item from Gujarat to Hyderabad that means Hyderabad should raise an internal requisition that should be converted as internal sales order based on that particular order Gujarat can ship the item to the Hyderabad that is where the setup is done so it is not allowing us why because these checkboxes are enabled so if you want to transfer something from here to here there should be internal sales order should be created and which is shipping this is from org from org is nothing but shipping organization to organization is nothing but receiving organization when I say from to so this is shipping to here if you scroll to up see this is shipping to Ulster. this is how internal this setup is mandatory to have inter organization transfer with ISO with ISO that is where we call it as IR ISO IR means internal requisition and internal sales order this is a very important scenario we are going to discuss as a part of order management okay so we are going to see all these transactions okay now this is what basically and <clears throat> any item if you select I will tell you one more concept it is a simple planning method of course for that let us take any item if you query any item we have the different tabs inventory tab bills of material tab asset management tab costing tab purchasing tab similarly we have planning tab general planning simple planning here we have it's not planned we have MRP planned so that means that is advanced supply chain planning MRP material requirement planning it is advanced version of the planning methods simply if you select inventory planning method as it's a very important question what are the inventory planning methods min max reader point and are managed min max the name which is very important very commonly used one and after that reorder point vendor manager sometimes what is vendor manager we give the access to our suppliers our approved suppliers means the one the supplier who is reliable and you are going to have good business with him whenever you want he gives the item by credit you need to pay later you can pay so you are giving the access of application to vendor so that whenever he checks your system whenever the quantity comes to low level he ships that's it nobody requests vendor manager means that is the advanced version of so min max is the simple one what is min max min max is when I select min max it will ask you minimum quantity and maximum quantity to be maintained in the inventory I can say this item always whenever I see the quantity at least it should be having 100 and maximum quantity of 10,000 let us say 100 to 10,000 when the quantity becomes to 100 the quantity becomes to 100 and below 100 system should recognize based on this planning method the system should raise the requisition for 10,000 items to bring the item quantity to maximum levels. So you should not wait till it reaches to zero. For that reason, you are going to have planning methods. Those planning methods, we are having inventory planning methods as min max planning, reorder point planning, vendor managed, Kanban planning. We have Kanban planning also. So different planning methods are there in which the common one is min max and reorder point planning these are the two and minimum min max is very important one and you would require the thorough knowledge over the min max it's very simple minimum quantity and maximum quantity to be maintained in the item master itself 
whether it's a make item or buy item you can see in the right hand side make or buy item when i say buy that means you are going to buy this item from the supplier when you select as a make that means you are going to manufacture this item in the manufacturing plant Okay, when I say manufacturing, by manufacturing you should maintain minimum quantity of this much always. If you see the on hand quantity of in this item at any point of time in the organization, minimum this much quantity should be there. That quantity is nothing but this minimum quantity and maximum quantity. Why should we have minimum and maximum? Minimum to come across your risk. Whereas maximum, why should we have maximum? Our company is not meant for only one item. I cannot buy millions of items. I can buy only hundreds of it hundreds of items or tens of items. I'm not maintaining only one item across the company. No. I am having different items. So which item? As per the demand, so all these things forecasting and everything you will check and decide the number to be maintained in the store always. So that you can come across the risks. Otherwise, you lose the business. If you are not maintaining the minimum quantity in the inventory, customer comes. So if you are not maintaining the minimum quantity, then he would say, please wait for two months. Why should we wait for two months after paying the amount? I should not pay. I should not. I should leave this company and switch for another vendor. That's it. This is how the customer thinks. So to retain the customer, not to lose the business, so you should maintain the enough stock at any point of time so that customer approaches and immediately can sell the item to the customer. This is how you are going to plan. In case it is a manufactured item, no issues. It is a make item. Even in case it is a buy item, it should be purchased. Means in the purchasing tab, you should enable what is the price of that. Why? Because min-max planning. Planning is going to create a document for this item whenever there is a quantity which is less than the minimum quantity when the minimum quantity reaches to 100 in this example i have given minimum quantity as 100 maximum quantity as 10000 that means when the item quantity reaches to 100 means system should rise a requisition to reach the quantity to the maximum level means it should system should rise a requisition that requisition should be created with a price of that particular item. If you are entering list price as zero, then what happens? Document value will be zero. Because purchasing, purchasing would require the approval hierarchies, that means document value will decide who can approve this document. Is it CEO or GM or production manager or, or simple manager? But everybody will not be having a limit of one, one million, right? If the item price is one million, can you approve? No, your boss should be. Who is that boss? Your manager. That manager might be having 10,000 limit. He can approve up to 10,000. But the price is million. Then it should go to GM. GM is having only 50,000. Then GM approves but it should go to CEO. CEO is having unlimited. So that means there is a hierarchy based on the value of the item. When I say it is zero, list price should, should not be zero when it is purchased item. Very important point. For planning that will make use of this list price and decides what is the value of value of that item and that list price will be taken as a price by default in the document purchasing document what is the document purchase order or ring before that requisition so whatever it may be what was the document the document should have a value so that that document will go to approvals so approvals will be decided based on the value limits so everybody will not be having a limit of millions so somebody might be having thousand dollars somebody might be ten thousand somebody might be hundred thousand somebody might be one million or unlimited this is how the system should route the document to the respective person based on his level of approval so this is how the planning plays the vital role we are going to discuss this planning, how to enable, how to run the planning, how to get the requisition to be created and requisition should be converted as purchase order. Purchase order should be sent to the supplier. Supplier should send the item so that you will receive the item. Then you store the item into the inventory. Then you will invoice because you are going to pay the amount to the supplier because you received the item from the supplier.
so that's all like this is the this is the basic knowledge you would require from inventory we keep going 